Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our video. My name is Fadi. My name is Fadi. Today we are going to talk about measuring the income of a nation. Let's go. Okay. 
We are on the way to a compute or calculate the GDP. Yeah, the second way is GDP equal to uh, total national income plus uh, governmental savings and taxes. This plus depreciation of investment plus uh, foreign currency, uh, income in foreign currency. Now, uh, so from that, uh, GDP equals the uh, output uh, minus intermediary good equals to final output. Uh, okay. uh, let's move on to uh, normal average GDP. Okay, right now we are talking about real and nominal GDP. What's nominal GDP? Nominal GDP for the production of goods and services valued at uh, current price, while uh, real GDP valued at constant price. What that mean? Let's understand to begin with the example. And in this case, we have uh, price of the hot dogs and pint of hot dogs. And we have the price of the hamburger and pint of hamburger. What's this? And this is called nominal GDP. GDP. Uh, also, we have uh, year uh, 260, 270, 280, and 216. And let's copy it uh, with uh, how much, uh, how much, how many of our hot dogs we have? 100 times $21 plus. Uh, 50 a hamburger, find a buy to dollar. And this equals to our number GDP one, 200. Okay, next year, we have 150 hot dogs, find a buy to dollar, plus 100 hamburger, find a buy to dollar. And this equal to $600. And the third one is in 2018, we have 2,200 hamburger hot dogs, find a buy to dollar, plus uh, 150 uh, hamburger times by four dollar, and this is equal to 1,200. Okay, this is not much. Okay, and let's move on to calculate real GDP. And I mentioned before that real GDP value one constant a year. What does that mean? Or constant price? What does that mean? We will uh, use it. We will in in this case we will base it on about uh, this year, and we base on it in 2016. Okay. Okay. And the first one is the same. I don't want to read it. The second one in 270. Uh, how much uh, we have? 150 hot dogs. Time to buy. One dollar, not two. Because we have already paid not one, 216. One dollar. Time to buy. Okay. And 50, 100, 100 hamburger. Time to buy. Two dollars, not three. Because we paid not 216. Two dollars. And this equal to 315. And next year. We have 200 hot dogs times by one dollar plus uh, 100, uh, uh, 150 hamburger times by two dollar, and this equal to 500. And this is how normal and real GDP calculates. Okay. Hey, hey, you, you, you. Yes, you. Hey, you are not our subscriber yet. Please uh, subscribe the channel and like the video. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Now. now about GDP deflator. What's GDP deflator? Uh, firstly, uh, GDP deflator is a way of measuring uh, how price change uh, from uh, one year uh, to the next year. GDP deflator, GDP deflator equals to nominal GDP divided by real GDP uh, multiplied by 100. Okay, firstly, uh, looking at uh, two, uh, 2060. In this year, our GDP is equal, and uh, normal GDP is 200 divided by uh, what's our real GDP is uh, the same. Uh, in that case, our uh, GDP deflators uh, are equals to 100 uh, in 2017. In this year, our normal GDP equals to 600. Uh, real GDP is 200, uh, 350 multiplied 100. It equals to approximately uh, 60. In uh, 2018, our normal GDP is equal to 1,200. Uh, our real GDP is equal to 500 multiplied by 100. It equals to 240. Okay, uh, now about uh, person change. Uh, GDP, uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, GDP shows us how price change, uh, how price change uh, from one year to next year. Uh, because of that, uh, we should know uh, person change formula. Uh, person change formula is. Uh, how much it change uh, divided by the starting point multiplied by a hundred. 
Okay, yeah, let's see uh, from uh, 2016 to uh, 2017. Our uh, person change, what is this? Uh, yeah, no, 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 we are bad. Uh, our changing is uh, 100 uh, minus 60 uh, divided by our starting point is 100. Multiply 100. It equals uh, 40 percent. Uh, now uh, we are looking at uh, price changing uh, 2017 uh, to uh, 2018. Uh, in, this case, in this case, uh, we are looking at uh, changing uh, the 240 minus 60 uh, divided by uh, 60 multiplied by 100. Uh, it equals to uh, 300 percent. Okay, uh, that's all for today. And let's move on to interview part. Uh, how does the uh, property GDP affect the standard of living within a country? Brief, I'm not expert, but I think countries with higher GDP, countries with higher GDP, will uh, cause uh, people to also have a higher standard of living. Uh, I think this is just a positive relationship that makes sense to everyone. Uh, in my country, I think that we do not necessarily have the highest GDP, but also we have a very high standard of living in regards to uh, Latin America and Caribbean countries. So it is very expensive to live in. Uh, so what I would say is that uh, in our country, because uh, our industry is also tourism, we are not, not very diversified. So we have to focus a lot of our resources on this one aspect within the country to build our GDP and to make it better for our citizens to live. Uh, how does uh, per capita GDP compare uh, between uh, developed and developing countries? Uh, well, uh, per capita uh, GDP tends to be higher on developed countries com compared uh, with developing ones. Uh, the developed countries have more uh, advanced uh, economies and they have more access, uh, the great access for uh, industrialization and it leads to uh, the more poor income for every person. And developing uh, countries face uh, more challenges like poverty, uh, uh, lower access to industrialization, and it leads to uh, less income, uh, less capital GDP for every person. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching our video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. See you. Talking about uh, income of a nation. When we when we can build the or find goods, what the the GDP calculator? What's GDP? Since you are, are you not? You are.